This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Also was announced, Billy Joe Saunders is going to be Canelo Alvarez's opponent, I think May 8th. What's your thoughts on that fight? It's a good fight for Canelo. I mean, he's fighting another world champion. Uh, he's fought multiple world champions. I mean, every fight he's fighting a world champion. So I don't know why guys be so down on Canelo like he's not fighting world champions or ex-world champions or number one rated guys. He's not fighting number 20 rated guys or number 15 rated guys. He's fighting the number one guy in that division at that time. So Billy Joe Saunders is a great fighter. I mean, I don't see him being Canelo. I see Canelo stopping him later on in the rounds. But anything can happen. This is boxing. Yeah, you see Canelo stopping Billy? Yeah. Late, in later rounds, body shot. Now, does Billy being a southpaw, he's not, he's not East Coast, American slippery, but he's fairly slick. Yeah, but that's why I think where that body shot comes in at, because he's still be right in front of Canelo. All that, he ain't gonna go, he gonna try to stay in front of Canelo, and, and because of the hype, all that hype, he wants to, he wants to make Canelo look bad. He wants to prove to everybody that he the best, and I think that's the wrong move for him to make. As far as Canelo goes, right? Everybody's seeming like a no hoper. They seem to be undefeated. They get in the ring with him and then they lay eggs. A, a name that keeps being mentioned is Andre Ward. Is Andre Ward the only man that can beat Canelo Alvarez no, right now? No, I think he would have trouble with Charlo. Big Charlo would give him problems. He's big, he's strong, he's fast, he's young, he's hungry. Big Charlo would definitely give him problems. I, I was I would say stay away from Jamal. Jamal the beast. Leave that dude alone. At 168, we've never seen Jamal at 168. True, but like I said, he's another one that rehydrates up pretty big. So mm. for him, he's already fighting at 160. What's another eight pounds? I don't see it being too much of a problem for him. So after Billy Joe, then you're hearing this Caleb Plant. Okay, do you want Charlo after, if he gets through all of them? you want Charlo after that, or do you want Charlo next after Billy? Mm. Either one is great, because I like Caleb Plant too. Caleb Plant has everything. He's an all-around fighter, he got good speed, he got great defense, he can move around the ring, he can outbox you, he'll bang in there with you. He's very exciting to watch. Uh, so either one is good, it's good for boxing. If he fights Charlo, if he fights Caleb Plant, I think Caleb Plant is a little, uh, is a bigger guy. He's mm. tall, he's tall, and he's that naturally that weight class. So, I mean, he's probably more of a, a challenge, but uh, I'll, both of those guys are tough. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. I appreciate no it.